get this started. Um, I've got some three inch uh, duct tape and I'm going to uh, build a reservoir. Now, here's the foam that I use. It's an AB mixture and I get it from a local taxidermist um, because they use it in what they do. And uh, that's the way it comes, it comes in a box and uh, all wrapped up because this is very toxic stuff. It could explode if uh, it gets near too much heat. So we, they try not to let many kids play with this stuff. Um, I've got myself some cups and I've got myself some plastic knives, something that I can throw away. I'm going to get my trash can nearby because I need to have that. I also need paper towels to uh, de you know keep uh, any leaks from spreading so that it doesn't get on my wonderful old carpet here. And uh, I would normally have rubber gloves, but I left them at the studio and I'll pick, pick them up this afternoon. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and wing it without them. Alright, the first thing I do is I put this 3 inch tape down, and the reason I'm using 3 inch is because it's a lot easier to use a wider tape than a narrow tape. And I sort of bend it here at the bottom corner, or bottom edge, and uh, bring it up 90 degrees to itself so that it's going up. But this will seal the bottom so that the uh, foam won't get out. That's the uh, plan anyway. Just for safety's sake, uh, especially around this area here, I'm going to put down another layer of tape as kind of like a barrier against uh, leakage again. So now I'll put some foam in here and uh, it'll be equal measures. But I don't see any need for it. If you spill this stuff, just wipe it off. It's messy. Okay. Put the uh, two cups aside. I still got half the solution in the, the cups. I take a plastic knife and I just start uh, mixing it and it turns white instantly and uh, your hand holding onto the cup it'll eventually when it gets ready to go um, you can feel it start getting warm on your hand like plaster when it starts to dry. This stuff only takes about five minutes to harden into carvable uh, material. Now 
down and just throw that knife away because it's no good anymore. And I just try to pour some foam down here and evenly spread it out. All right, I've, I've poured the first batch of foam in here and it's risen up to about right there. No leaks, so I did a good job there. There's a little drip right there that's expanding, but that's that's easily taken off. And I just let that keep on expanding. So I'm going to mix some more foam. And this time we're just going to pour the rest of this stuff into there. It's already foaming up in the cup, so I gotta get it going. Quit talking, Dave. Okay. You can see the cup is filled up now. <laughs> that's nothing I can do about it. And I got a little overflow, but that's no big problem. That's easy to fix. key is to keep it from flowing out this way. See, that's already hardened up. It's still, you know, soft, but, uh, oh, I got a little leak right there. That's why you, uh, have these, uh, pieces of paper. I got a leak right there. to worry about that. I just don't want it coming out this way. You can carve this stuff away. That's not a big deal. See, it's already hard enough. It's still soft. It's it's like a soft pillow right now, but it's it's not sticky anymore. See how easy it is to remove? That's why you don't let it down. Always be in control. You can use caulking foam. That's a foam that you can get at the hardware store in cans, spray cans. I don't like the stuff because it takes forever to harden, and uh, a lot of times you'll get a bit. You'll be cutting through it and get a big gooey gob in the center. And uh, this stuff is uh, a lot more solid. All right, I got an uh, electric knife that I use for this. I have one for carving my meat and one for carving my foam. But it just makes it easier. Then you have the trash can nearby because this stuff can be messy. this area right here if I can. And I just keep it down. And I'll put one more piece of tape.
to go if I need them. in here. it for now. Tomorrow, I'll, uh, well actually not tomorrow because I've got to put this aside and work on uh, another clay. I have two clays that I've got to, to get ready for the foundry that are at the foundry right now getting uh, bids on. And uh, this will just have to sit aside for a while until I can I get back to it. But uh, at least that part's done, and it gives you an idea on how easy it is to uh, do a little foaming if you have to. If I have a video from my trip to the foundry, I'll put it up. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Good night, everybody. Good afternoon.